What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on Magic.UK. And uh, we just opened the only... Here we go. Ready? Only... How much? Hold on. Let's, let's hold on. We're scrolling up. Scrolling up. The only $1 Planeswalker in the set. I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, the the Planeswalkers... Uh, the Planeswalkers from the Planeswalker packs were, were worth more. But... Uh, <clears throat> this seems even terrible and limited, right? <clears throat> when you, you may cast instant sorcery cards from your graveyard. That's just not... Discarding three cards and drawing that many, that's actually not terrible. Oh, God. <clears throat> Do we just have to take it because it's a Planeswalker? All right, I'm going to trust MTG Pyro... Specifically because your name is... Oh, and we get a fight with fire. This card is actually great. I actually like this card a lot. <coughs> Alright, we'll take this. We'll be red. I'm, I'm in. I'm buying in. She's a Planeswalker. We're playing limited. I'm going to take the Planeswalker. Okay. This, this card actually seems great to main deck in this format. I'm actually going to take First Eruption. Maybe Warcry Phoenix will take a table. This card seems bonkers because you can just actually kill all the tokens, and it's main deckable, right? I mean, it's a Planeswalker that has two loot abilities. Uh, a loot ability for plus one, right? Discard, discard up to three cards, draw that many cards. So, like, discard a land, draw a card. Discard two lands, draw two cards. Like, I think it seems fine. I mean, the plus one ability is not great, but you can play Jaya and then actually fight fire, or you can play it and kick fight fire on the next turn because you have six mana and then she adds three, so that's nine. Playing Jaya, plus one wanting her to discard a card and draw a card, then next turn, plus wanting her to, to fight with fire kicked is not terrible. <clears throat> I think it's Joy vs. Familiar here. Also, let's be real. This is like, this Planeswalker is a dollar. Uh, Teferi is 14 and Karn is 22. So it doesn't surprise me that we'd get this one, but we're going to make it work. So I'm going to take Joy Roof's Familiar. Mon's Monster, how does that seem like a lot of work? You're just plussing it. You just click the button. It's literally one activation. <clears throat> What's Where's the work entail? Like, having instants and sorceries is not... That's not a ton of work. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we're just going to take all the uncommons and rares, I guess. <clears throat> Which seems to be working out okay so far. I'm going to pour myself some more beverage, so if you guys hear that, that's what I'm doing. With our Hungry Howies last night, we got a, we got a free two liter. So I got some Diet, diet Pepsi and... Uh, is this any instant or sorcery? Oh, that's pretty good. We can actually untap and play Dark Bargain, so. <clears throat> Guardians can bounce Jaya, that's true. Is it Jaya? It's Jaya Ballard, right? Jaya, not Jaya. Oh, Lingering Phantom is actually pretty good. I do like Memorial of Genius, too. Depends on if we want to be blue. I think we want to be blue-red. Oath of Teferi. Jai Ballard, Oath of Teferi? Oh boy, making it happen. <clears throat> I'm going to take Journey Mage here. She's a business, ma'am. She got business, ma'am. I like it. I like what you did there. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't spill everywhere because that's what it did earlier and I got real sad. That's right, you heard it here first. Frank spilled soda all over his all over his desk. 
I wouldn't say I really spilled it. It kind of just overflowed. So that's kind of different than spilling it, right? Spilling it requires like a lack of physical dexterity, like a moment of <clears throat> a moment of ineptitude in physical dexterity, whereas overflowing is kind of just carbonation doing its own thing. I would say they're different. <clears throat> I think Diet Mountain Dew is the greatest diet soda of them all, but I do like a Diet Dr. Pepper, so we're not too far off there. I don't hate a fire elemental. <clears throat> I also don't hate a blood tallow candle. Hmm. Interesting. Flaren Scholar is a wizard. <laughs> for whatever that good for whatever good that is. Take Lance here. <clears throat> Lance Armstrong. Oh, I'll take Kolar Snapper. <coughs> Ooh, this can bounce a Jaya. That's actually not terrible. I can probably can get another one. I'd rather just have the four five to protect her. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, this pack wasn't great for us, but it does put us in two different directions. We can either go blue or black here. Cabal Paladin actually not terrible when we have familiar Ballard. We also have Gitu Journeyman. Oh, that's a historic spell. <clears throat> what flavor is Dr. Pepper? Um, <clears throat> Don't they have like 50 flavors in it? I don't know. I don't know how Dr. Pepper works. On Sarah's wings, Sarah Angel. Okay, well, that's a lot of Sarah things. <clears throat> this pack is not great for us. Actually, if we're black, settle the score is very good. I think we're going to be black here. <clears throat> oh, settle the score and a Jay Ballard. Let's do that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm locked into this. Dang it, Bird Cleric. Red white can be strong. I agree with you, but I feel like we're we already have good red cards and good. Yeah, this guy's fine actually. Whatever. I'm not super, not super sad about that guy. I'm just gonna take Kelden Overseer here. <clears throat> Eh, double fire fist add up seems good. And a radiant lightning, but I'm just gonna take the uh the fire fist adept. I don't the problem is I don't think there's any any wizards in this color, so like Oh, caddy's no oh, man. God, these wizards, man. <clears throat> Maybe we're not black. I don't know what's going on anymore. There's no red card in this pack. I don't care about feral abomination, especially when we have a bunch of six drops. It's just academy journey mage, right? I also want to make sure we have wizards because we have Gitu journey mage and double fire fist add up, so. One black wizard in the set? Good lord. That's not a lot at all. <coughs> Flame of Keld. Not really where you want to be. Wizard's Retreat. Wizard's Retort, though. That's pretty good. So is Fiery Intervention. I think I probably want the counter spell. Like, we already have a bunch of removal. Double Adept. Fight Fire. Yeah, I'm going to take the Wizard's Retort. Pronunciation for dummies. Have a good afternoon or, you know, what have you.
I'm going to take this Academy Journey Mage number two. Businessman. I'm a businessman. I do business, man. Um, if it's historic, draw two cards. <clears throat> I don't care about Curator's Ward. Frenzied Rage is good. Arcane Flights. I mean, not, if I say it by good, I mean they're manageable. Wizard's Retreat? I meant Wizard's Retort. I thought this was the Wizard's Retreat. Like, they go there, they have a good time, they take a load off, you know. It's it's a, it's a good time for everybody, so. <clears throat> I'm going to take Frenzied Rage. Ward isn't terrible, I agree with you, but I haven't played it yet, so. <clears throat> I have not actually put it in my deck and equipped it to a creature, so. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting pack. Interesting pack. Um, I'm just gonna take Stronghold Confessor here. Ah, another Journey Mage. That's actually great. I was hoping that guy would come back. I'm really looking for a bunch of two mana wizards here. <clears throat> Although there's not a terrible amount. Tremendous amount, rather. <coughs> Other than that, I like our deck right now, so. That is not a wizard, Harry. We'd also... Eh, we got a couple artifacts. I, I'll take this guy. He's a two-drop. Relic Runner. That's pretty good. I'll play that. Probably not playing Slin Voda. Uh, you're uh, an artifact. Sure. Flame of... Okay. All right. Okay. I think our deck's looking pretty okay. We also have a couple cards in the sideboard we can play, like this guy. Uh, I don't think Flame of Killed is very good. I could see playing Frenzied Rage or Orcish Vandal. Especially if we get any Skittering Surveyors, I think Orcish Vandal gets a lot better. <clears throat> Arcane Flight, sure. And we have an Arcane Flight and a Frenzied Rage. <coughs> Excuse me. Phyrexian Scriptures, Chainer's Torment, and that's pretty much it. I don't think Scriptures are worth anything. Oh, they are. They're like two tickets. Wow. There are only five cards in the set worth more than two tickets. That's pretty sad. Isn't that how it always goes, though? I don't know. Maybe. I'm still not 100% sold on blue, though. So I think I'm going to take the scriptures, because it's actually pretty good. We also don't have any blue wizard. We have two blue wizards, I guess. <clears throat> we could actually splash the blue. Yeah, we could just splash journey mages. I actually think scriptures is probably the pick. The only thing we're missing is, like, glider or relic runner, neither of which are really uh, super necessary for our deck. Oh, and oh, chronicler is exactly what I want, actually. I want to be able to return fight with fire. Um, or even a counter spell. Yeah, that guy's real good. And it's a wizard, so. Oh my god! Third pick? I don't understand. I'm gonna take it. That's weird, and I'm uncomfortable with it. What if we, like, put it on this guy, it's insane, right? Put it on this guy, it's insane. Put it on this guy, it's insane. What? 
what in the earth, dude? What are you thinking? I'm a businessman. I do business, man. Creatures you control again, first strike, sure. Um, <clears throat> Even on Snapper, it's great. Yeah, I agree with you. <coughs> yeah, we're not Lich's mastering, Jaboshi. Just stop it. It's either Divination or Kelden Rider here. I kind of like Kelden Rider a little better. We don't have a ton of ways to draw cards. I'll just take Divination here. I want early things to do. Oh, we got the Fire Intervention and a Vodalian Arsonist. Arcanist. <clears throat> I kind of like Fire Intervention better here. Although I do like having a blue drop that makes our... A two drop, rather, that makes our... Instants and Sorceries cheaper. But we don't really have a ton of ways to... Yeah, I'll just... Haphazard Bombardment, really? I'm not a big Bombardment fan. I think Intervention is probably better than Bombardment. Alright, I'm going to take Bombardment for you guys. Because you seem to like it. And I don't, <clears throat> but you do. This is probably one of the best Wizards we could get. Wow, this is great. That's fantastic. Oh! Oh! If it wasn't anything with triggers... Oh! Oh! We're doing it! <clears throat> this is amazing! Oh my goodness gracious. It's all coming up Millhouse. How many memorial memorials to war could we have right now? I'll take one. Snag an artifact, draw a card. <coughs> wow, a lot. So the answer is a lot, basically. This pack three was great for us. <clears throat> I'm actually going to take out the first eruption because I don't like the killing my my Nabin or I guess that's the only thing it really it kills all of our guys when it triggers for the third time. So we need one more card. It might just be a Fervent Strike. Something as simple as Fervent Strike. <clears throat> We also have double, triple memorials. Actually, Flame Killed might be good. Maybe we just play Flame Killed. <clears throat> I don't think we're playing Memorial for in the in the main deck. We're gonna play Memorial of Genius, but not the right, not the other one. Nine eight. This deck seems awesome. <coughs> Third pick helm followed by Adelie's Nabin, uh, a bunch of other good cards. That pack was great for us. I'm a businessman. I do business, man. Um, 
I don't think it's 10 7. 10 7 seems risky. I think this seems fine. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. Excuse me. Do we just Chronicler here? That seems weird. I guess it's fine. It's a wizard. Chewing bread is good against hiccups? Is that true? Interesting. Oh God, the one one birds are real. <clears throat> yep. So is the uh, no no play on turn two here, turn turn three rather. On the bright side, we can easily discard a an island. So. The one damage saga actually doesn't hit flyers. It hits non-flying creatures, so that would not actually do what you think it does, <clears throat> unfortunately. Wow, so, all three six drops in our hand. That's pretty good. Bread makes you fat. Oh, for crying out loud. Ooh boy, we're having a good we're having a good good one here against the double Sarah Disciple Quende deck. Alright, well that's not terrible, I guess. Is it good? I don't know. God, I have to bounce a stupid idiot bird here? That's sad. You're from a movie. Got him. <coughs> I'm going to die to these stupid birds. Oh, for crying out loud. Everybody played hard. Yeah, first eruption deals damage to each creature without flying. That's not going to do what we think it does. Um, Welp. I guess we'll just submit and try again. Oh, Deck, why are you like this? <clears throat> Come on, Deck. All right. Oh, bottom you, unfortunately. We don't need another five drop. Even though you are a four drop, we already have our four drops covered, so. Pew! 
Get in there. Do your do your thing. Now who has the two damage in the air, buddy? It's me. <clears throat> do I want to discard any of these cards? I don't think so. Could have discarded bird maybe, but that's not super exciting, so whatever. <clears throat> oh, I see. Uh, what do you mean only exclusive to the pre-release? <clears throat> How do you mean, Direct Orb? Oh, I was going to play Bird here. Dang it. I got distracted. <clears throat> oh, God. If you have a pump spell, why not just attack with both? I'll just take it. Uh, we were giving them away on that one stream. Why? A lot of damage happening here. Would have liked to hit a land, but I guess that's fine. I mean, what is, I mean, like, I don't know what you're, I, I guess I'm not sure what you're getting at though. Like what, like, sh would he be giving away at other times? I don't know. <clears throat> doo, doo, doo. What's going on? Well, now we're just going to block because... Yellow. Well, like, how do you? How is you asking whether they're only for the pre-release weekend? How does that help you know if you shipped it out yet? That's what I don't understand. That seems like those seem like two completely unrelated statements. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty good. Apparently gaining nine life is pretty good. The problem with giving away Mike B is that there's only one of them, him. Uh, so until I perfect my cloning technology, it's a little more difficult to uh, to get rid of him or to, to give him away. But um, I think we can. It's something we can work on definitely. Okay, good. They don't have a trick. That's all I need to know. Oh, how many wizards do we have? A bunch. Oh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no more life for you. Uh-oh. Making three guys? Like you do.
Also, if you guys want to, don't forget to renew your Twitch Prime subs. A lot of them have expired since last month, so. Still game two, Fearzors. Still game two. There's a lot of nerds you're playing. <clears throat> Man, these flyers are doing work, dude. What are my thoughts on Magic the Gathering? I am, uh, I'm okay with it. I think it's fine. It's a fun game that we all uh, we all enjoy. Thank you, Shaggy Graves. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Or that feel, it doesn't feel like the first time you subbed, but either way, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Breakout decks post Dominaria. I feel like Control is going to be good, but I also feel like there's a red deck that's going to be good as well. All right, we can just draw some cards and put them to three. I think that's safe. Oh, that's pretty good, but we don't have anything to get back with it. <coughs> Still seems better than just playing it. I also think there's a red dick. That's what I always say. All right, this is where they attack with Double Sanctum Seeker, Primordial Worm, etc., etc., and then we just end up losing everything. We're going to lose it all, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is a, this is aggressive. I'll block you. Block you. Block you. Block you. I'll take 7, 8, 9. Ooh, that's brutal. Any plus four, plus four, and we're dead here. <clears throat> so. I guess we'll just chump you. I mean, if you have plus one, plus one to everything, it's pretty bad. I guess it's still fine. We take six. You gain eight. Gross. But you still lose ooze. Spirit, spirit. Yeah, this guy sure seems like because he's eating birds that he could <clears throat> that he'll have reach, but that's not the way magic works, unfortunately. Well, that's not as good, but whatever. Yep, obviously double Dan at the deck. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Seriously? Literally nothing to get back in the graveyard. That's brutal. So we need to chump block here, block here, block here, block, block. Chump. Snaps. Take four. I think we still have to put the, the pressure on here. <clears throat> I don't think this is any good. Sure. Let's 
Yavimaya Sapherd. That's pretty good. That's a good one as far as creatures you can get. Oh, uh, Scarab God's a good reason to be put off standard. I can agree with that. But, I mean, there's a lot of ways to deal with Scarab God. Answers from R&D will hit standard. Uh, probably. I mean, like, you have a bunch, though. You have, like, Seal Away. You have the card that, like, makes the guys, um, the, the Merfolk that makes it lose the abilities. You can play that for two mana and then kill it. <laughs> this deck is insane. Their deck is very, very good. Nine spells, 12 lands. Sure. I love mountains. They're my favorite land. <clears throat> oh, boy. Good times, good times. So what I'm going to do... <clears throat> is I'm gonna scoop, and we're gonna hope for hope for the best next game. Would you have been good? Not really. Where were you when I needed it? You would have just murdered them. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god, Karakong, what are you doing? Oh god, I'm afraid. <clears throat> I'll keep this hand. Relic Runner into Divination if we had a land. <clears throat> and basically dying due to throat malfunctions. Uh, we have not cast Jaya once yet, so I couldn't tell you. She's a Planeswalker. A $1 Planeswalker, so can't be that bad, right? It could probably be that bad. One three into one one. All right. Well, <clears throat> not the most threatening of creatures, but a board presence nonetheless. Turn four helm. Seems reasonable. 
<clears throat> turn four helm, turn five Jaya. I don't know. I don't know if that's good. Our hand is good right now. We have rare, rare, mythic, other other things, but. And they didn't play anything. Well, then. Syncopate for one. No, no syncopate for none. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm basically dying. Why? Wow, you just blink of an eye at that guy. Okay. Well, that is your right to do. Cup cost is five. Journey Mage into Journey Mage into Journey Mage would be disgusting. And... Oh. Oh. I see. Whatever, that's fine. Deal. Well, that's a big, big. That's what's known as a fat daddy. <clears throat> Non-enchantment permanence. We can't even target this thing right now. <clears throat> we could target a journey mage and make copies of tutus, but... We'll see what happens here. We can actually bombard the turtle, which is pretty interesting. I'd still rather them play more things, but... I'm also not a bombardment fan. I think it gives you uh, way too little... Too little control over what's going on. It's like the Punisher mechanic, but three, three, or three turns in a row, right? Like... So if I need to get rid of this guy, I have to, like, maybe I get rid of a 2-4 or a 4-5 instead. Interesting. I'll just jump block here. I don't care about Relic Runner. <clears throat> Wow. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a wizard. Uh, 
And then we're going to shoot this idiot with another wizard. <coughs> so many wizards, Harry. Yeah, I don't think they're ghosting. <laughs> what? No, we ain't doing that. That's pretty good. Oh, you thought this thing had flying? <clears throat> oh, no way, dude. That would be insane. We'd be dead. Fire Fist is only creatures, yes. That would be insane if it wasn't. This guy is only players. This guy is only creatures. <coughs> Sweet snappy face. Ba -ba -da. Yeah, this card, this card is terrible. I'm not a big fan of Chainer's Torment. You have to deal with one creature. So any non-damage based removal will kill it. And you lose half your life to do it. So I don't think that... That doesn't work the way we think it works, right? Like, that's still... I still get the thing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Four, five, six, seven... Pretty sure this guy's just gonna win us the game. <clears throat> what up, Aquajern? Sweet Caroline. <clears throat> ba -ba <-da. clears throat> Do we just win here? I got distracted by something, so I think we just win here, right? They have a card in hand. Oh, uh, I think the level of competition is higher on MTGO. MTGO specifically requires you to have a certain magic online magic competency uh, due to the client, due to knowing how the stack works. And if you don't have that, it teaches you how to do it. It teaches you how to uh, use mana efficiently. It teaches you how to, to, to pass priority. It teaches you when things resolve. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right, so I think we just attack here with everybody. Did you guys see my new hand shield for people who ghost? I showed it yesterday. There you go. New hand shield. For the ghosters. I might have actually spoiled the VOD. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, not intentionally hilarious, but, you know, funny nonetheless. Journey Mages for days. This might be the most Journey Mages ever cast, and I'm pretty sure I'm putting G2 Journey Mage as the thumbnail for this video. Either this draft or my first one went well. That's really sad. The Ziggs, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. And the kind words, buddy. Thank you. <clears throat> I didn't even hear that sub go off. Sweet cat. Why do I have Sweet Caroline stuck in my head? Can someone explain to me why I have Sweet Caroline stuck in my head? I like this hand a lot, but I like lands better, so. Oh, we got him back. We got our boy back. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep you. Kelden Overseer? What is that card? I don't even know what that does. Tell me what Kelden Overseer does. Tell me about your Kelden Overseer. Why are you singing cakes going the distance in Dominaria? I, you know, this is a good, I think your point is that there's no real reason why I sing any of the songs I do. And, um, I, I think that's a fair point. I, I agree with you. I appreciate your honesty. Um, <clears throat> three, one haste. I think that guy's fine. Oh my God. Double triggers triggering all day. Bye. Sweet Nabin. Oh, it's. Oh my god. What if we get multiple Nabins and it's like, well, he's legendary, so. He's not legendary when you helm him and then you get multiple Nabins. Preach? Did I. What did I say? Appreciate it? It freaked me out because I was singing it like 30 seconds before listening. Uh, that's just my ability to, uh, you know, predict the future. So. Oh, man. I get two bumps with this guy. Hashtag two bumps. I'm going to Keldon Ryder. Raider? Ryder? And also, this guy can't be cast down, which is nice. I'm a fan of that. Oh, you're going to bounce my Nabin. This guy is not a wizard, so it doesn't matter. He don't, he don't even trigger. I will be discarding a Flame of Keld. Oh! <clears throat> 
Give me a land so I can go Naven into Journey Mage, 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 into Journey Mage. I ripped two Multanis in my seal, but I'm not sure how good he is because people keep scooping when I cast him. Thoughts? Wow. <clears throat> wow. The rich get richer right there. That's amazing. <clears throat> also, kudos for a comical comment. Hunter is really like messing with the, the green screen today. Oh, we did it, boys. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it happened at some point yesterday. Good times never smell so good. What does that mean? That's a weird thing to say, right? It's not about sense. Thank you. Defendrix, thank you so much for the sub. Even though, even though me and Mike are not uh, going to do a wrestling match at eight, at 300 subs, I really appreciate the sub anyway. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. <clears throat> Hmm. I'm still holding out hope. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh my god. God, Juposhi, why? <coughs> All right. So, we have a lot of things we can do here. We can play, just play Helm. We can play Academy Journey Mage, bounce both our guys, but I don't like the idea of having Skin Witch go back to their hand. Or we can just play Partic Wanderer. I think it's probably Partic Wanderer. But Helm on Gitu Journey Mage is pretty good. So is 5-5 five, five Trample, though. I don't really want to bounce this, because then they just make us discard both of these. So I think it's actually anything but Helm. Or anything but uh, Journey Mage, rather. I'm going to go Helm because I just want to get this on board. <laughs> what a bunch of little cuties. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. <clears throat> oh, that's the best. Oh, they did it anyway, man. Double skin witches. That's like a sandwich, but with a skin witch instead. Well, we're taking four here. And then we should have blockers forever. I'm actually going to copy the journey mage first. Dang, still no targets for that guy. Oh, God. Three damage a turn is pretty good, dude. I'll trade for a skin witch. Seems fine. Because after a few turns, they're all done. Where's Hungry Howie's body? Got an idea called Passion of the Crust. Something about flavored crust that bleeds marinara when you... Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Passion of the Crust is an amazing name. I'm not sure how it would go for the PC crowd, but... Oh, that's real sad. <clears throat> I don't think we even play this guy. It just doesn't do anything. I 
I do want another Naven, though, so I'm going to make another Naven. Whoop. Hello. And now we can just block with this Naven, I guess. It's like they say on The Walking Dead, we're all Naven. <clears throat> Sweet Caroline. Ba -ba -da. Oh, we're not attacking here. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. All right, all these cards are fine against us. Don't kill this guy in response. That'd be so sad. I would totally cry. I think we'd be way too far behind if that happened. They have one card in hand, so. Caracon. <clears throat> five bits. Oh, they bounced the helm instead. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're just going to play this guy. He doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Well, this is an attack, isn't it? Attack on all of us. Attack on one is an attack on all. I think we'll take seven. That seems bad. We need a land to be able to re-equip this. Otherwise, we actually have nothing to do. I think we've actually gotten too greedy with this. I think we just have to lock like this. I think Naven's a little too cute. Like, we can just prevent, like, ten damage by getting rid of one Naven. Sure. All right. <clears throat> we would actually, if we didn't, if we didn't block with the Naven, we'd be at eight, or we'd be at five. This would trigger twice, so they would go to eight, and then we'd have three, four, six, seven, eight, nine on board. So we actually kill them. I mean, I think we're still fine here, but they put them to three, and then we take five back, and I don't think they can deal us four, but we'll see. Karakon, what did you apologize for in advance before? You were like, I apologize in advance for this, and I, I didn't even know what it was. Good games. <coughs> Sweet G2 journeyman. All right, would have drawn a snapper. Oh, for the suspense. Okay. Wow, that was amazing. You're history's greatest monster. All right, 2 0 and 0 2. Let's see if this deck is any good. It might be a little too slow. Well, okay. I'll keep it. I don't like it, but I'll keep it. There can't be that many History's Greatest Monsters. <laughs> Bold claim coming from History's Greatest Monster, Japoshi.
I got got him. You totally did. Oh, that's okay. Well, we're not attacking. We'll just let our opponent gain two life for a million years. <clears throat> two life for a million years. No blocks. Okay, well. Well... Next time we're going to Adept and kill the Unicorn or the Banalish. Yeah, probably the Knight of New Banalia. It does make... Whoa, that's... Oh, this is great for us, actually. I'm having a good time here. Yep, we're going to keep blocking. Did we not block last turn? Or was there a turn where we didn't get to block? Did we just forget to block? I don't know. I think I blacked out for a second. <clears throat> I was checking a text message from my, my mom. Me ma. Well, they've missed three land drops so far, so uh, not ideal for them, unfortunately. Yeah, I skipped blocking. Well, for what I told you, the reason. The reason was I was checking a text from my mom. And I got distracted. Well, that's just annoying. Thank you. Fearzors, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub. This guy costs seven to kick? Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy. I thought it was six. Oh boy. I feel dumb now. I like this guy less now, I'll be honest with you. Seven is a lot more than six. For those who are unaware. They're at 29 life. We're almost approaching the uh, the amount we had, so it's funny because on Sunday after our uh, after our giveaway and our stream and everything, uh, we had like 281 subs, and then because of like despite getting like 10 in between now and like Wednesday, we were actually six subs lower because of Twitch Prime subs expiring. So we're getting back. We're climbing. We're climbing the mountain again. Fearsource, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. it means a lot. <clears throat> what up, Andre? Makes games. I need a way to deal with this guy, but I guess we can steal it for a turn. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. All right, this is a lot of mana. All right, we did it. We kicked it. I didn't tell you that. I don't even know. I don't even. Uh, probably either Ricolas or just Halls. Some regular old Halls. All right, fifteen to fifteen. We're back. Back where it counts. We block this guy. We take four. Sure. Sure. Time of Ice. Oh my God! I'm so tired of playing against this card. I think everyone is finally realizing how good this card is. So. However, if you bounce either one of these guys, I'm just fine with it. Maybe not this guy, but maybe this guy. All of our guys have entered the battlefield ability, so that's pretty good. Tin Man, you can't be donating more subs, man. Don't do it. Tin Man, no. Tin Man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's good. I will discard up to zero here. Done. I'll play a journey mage. <coughs> is Yargle ever playable? Definitely. There's definitely situations where a 9-3 for 5 is playable. Like, there's, there's times in Magic where you play a 3-3 for 5 mana. 
So a 9-3 is just actually far and away so much better than a 3-3. Also consider there are cards like Arcane Flight or the Red One that gives Menace. Um, 100%. There are 100... Oh, okay. 100% there are... Yargle is actually... I think Yargle is completely playable. You look at the stats... <clears throat> Tin Man, you've gifted 10 subs. That's unbelievable, dude. It's not a real amount. That's a ridiculous amount. Thank you so much, though, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, But yeah, look at Yargle. Like, so if Yargle was a 4-3 for 5, you'd probably occasionally play it. Just because it's a legendary. It's, a, it's not terrible on stats. It's okay. So I think the fact that, like, people see him as a 9-3, the, the disparity makes him seem much worse than he is. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, you gotta take you take two as well. I feel like this is gonna be pretty good. Did they hit something? They hit a planes. Get it. No, they didn't. That was from other thing. They just whiffed? All right. <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six. Do we just do it to their face? I mean, we could potentially kill them if we just alpha here. They might not know. All right, let's see what happens. <clears throat> if two of these guys get through, that's pretty good. Oh, God, we just get to burn their face out. I don't want to clear their board. I'll just win the game. Tan your face. Fearzors, go get yourself some hauls from Wally World. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Preach. I won with Jaya, and she helped cast. Uh, where are you? A spell with Jaya on it. That is what's called a flavor win, my friends. I wish as a red deck I had more ways to deal with their artifacts. They have a bunch of dirtly artifacts that I just want to get rid of. I think we're fine, I guess. <laughs> I had to look up how much... I like that you looked up the actual cost of halls. That's pretty awesome, dude. Fears always appreciate it, buddy. I will keep this hand. Any lands makes this good. They're playing 42 cards? What a maniac. Oh, that's actually interesting. I'm going to say interesting because I have no idea if it's any good. Is that is that a Michael B in the chat? Oh my god. What in the earth? MDG Pyro, thank you so much for the bits, man. How do I get into the Discord? Spheres Wars, connect your accounts. You have to go to the... Here, look, I'll show you. <clears throat> Ever see an event, would you be willing to sign a copy of Break Open for me? Yeah, 100%. I don't know what that does, though. What is that? Why Break Open? But yes, definitely, 100%. <coughs> um, yeah, all right. Does the creature deal it? Oh, so they can get lifelink? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. I understand. Thank you. Michael B, 17 months over a year, give him the gift. You know the one. <laughs> Mike B, we used, the one, we used your gift for bits, buddy. It should have just popped up. It should have just been a, a, bit, a bit pop up.
Michael B has been a subscriber for one month for every year I've been his dad. So 17 years. Is this a bird? This is, this is just a, not just a, this isn't a wizard bird. That's just a regular bird. Okay. <clears throat> You are a wizard bird, Hattie. That's what I say if I'm a if I'm Harry Potter's friend. I don't know what I'm saying right now, guys. Get him. Get him. Turn that bird upside down. <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense. First time watching Love and the Jive and Brewing Her and Red Green Stay. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you. Rainmaker, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Hyper. Got a little sub train going on here. That's pretty cool. I like a good sub train. It's like a train where you eat subs. <clears throat> it's totally, totally makes sense. Oh, they didn't attack. Interesting. Interesting. Rainmaker, I like you too, buddy. I will trade with your unicorn if that's what you'd like. They didn't like that. I'm just going to keep up Counterspell and then play Jaya. Do I have any brews coming up for standard? Maybe. I was taking a look at Assault... Uh, not Assault High. Oh, that'd be sweet. Uh, just an Esper control list I just threw together with all the, like, all the cool cards I want to play. I'll actually throw it up real quick. <clears throat> uh, it, this was just my preliminary deck. It's got Scarab God, two Teferis, a Yogmoth, Vile Offering, a Lyra, a Demon Lord, Bells and Lock, two Karns, a Josu, one Profane Procession, one Blink of an Eye, like a bunch, just a bunch of the, like one ofs of the cards I really like. <clears throat> so maybe I'll try that out soon. I might throw that up as a Patreon article. So if you guys are not over on Patreon, a uh, dollar a month on Patreon definitely helps me out a ton. It adds up and uh, you can get all the sweet exclusive Patreon content I'm going to put out. I already put out my top eight list for Dominaria over there. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. I'm drafting Dominaria for the friend Saturday. I have no time to study cards. Do you have a favorite color combo? Blue white is my favorite color combo in Dominaria so far. I think it's very, very strong. I think it's going to be quickly uh, overdrafted, so you might actually have a hard time picking up the the blue-white cards, which, which will make it worse. Uh, I don't want you to have that, I'll be honest with you. Or do I care? I think I care. You don't have much pressure on the board. This actually lets us play Jaya next turn and not really care. I can easily discard Overseer and a land. Uh, I took a break from CFB because I just wanted to focus on like my own stuff. Um, like my YouTube channel, my Twitch streaming. I've been doing a bunch of stuff on my own. And I've liked the freedom it's offered me. And so now I started a Patreon recently. It's patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And if you guys want to help, that's cool. If not, streams will be totally free. And so will YouTube videos. But uh, discard. I'm going to discard these two. Ooh, I like it. <clears throat> I'm not going to attack here. <clears throat> I just want to be able to make sure we have a blocker here. I like... Oh, it's target player or planeswalker. It's got the new wording. That's unfortunate. At first, I'm going to make all the stuff free on Patreon just so you guys can see what you're getting. But there will be a point where I put it behind, the, like, the dollar paywall, which I don't think is that big of a deal. If it is, then, like, what can you do? A dollar a month is, like, nothing, I think. And I'm saying that as someone who uh, who does spend money on content, you know? So. But Journey Mage has been, is fantastic. So, yes, I would say, I would say yes. Uh, 
That's pretty good. All right, so what we can do is we can actually pay, we can add three to play divination for one. Hey, that's pretty good. We did not hit a land. We can play a Joyverse Familiar and the next turn play Nabin and Firefist Adept. I like that. <coughs> yep, that's fine. Now we're going to attack because we got blockers for days. Oh, they figured it out. All right. How much per Twitch sub do I see? Right now I see half of it. So for every $5 Twitch sub, I see two fifty dollars and they see two fifty. dollars um, you do get an increase in that when you hit 500 subscribers, uh, which is a lot, but I mean, I think it's definitely an attainable goal and I think in the long run, that's what I'm going for. So let me see if I can, let me see if that's correct. Uh, yeah, they said, uh, in order to be considered for a higher split of the revenue, we ask you to main maintain at least 500 subs for two months. <clears throat> so totally reasonable. Um, <laughs> uh, prime subs worse are the same prime subs are just subs. All subs are subs. Like it doesn't matter where they come from. Oh my god, noob noob. And Jester Poo, dear god. Why are you guys the way that you are? Twitch subs cost five ninety nine. dollars <clears throat> Is that true? What? That's weird. Has anyone <clears throat> had that experience where Twitch subs cost five ninety nine? dollars <clears throat> I haven't actually heard of that before. Oh my god. I need to up the the bit the mip, the bit minimum. Oh, this guy costs 5. This guy costs 4. Yeah, we'll play you instead. I hope you don't have an answer for this guy. Oh my god, the broken interactions, guys. <laughs> Everything is so broken. <clears throat> I'm in the UK. I think I'm being taxed by American as into geo takes off. I think it's a VAT tax. Yeah, I agree with you. That's probably what it is, unfortunately. But isn't the pound also stronger than the dollar? Mm. Think about it. Think about it. I don't want to discard any cards here. Maybe Snapper? Sure. Nah, eh, you don't do anything. We'll just get in there for two. <coughs> Where do I search for a channel on Discord? I don't think you do. I think they actually... You have to go into your uh, your account settings and, and connect your Twitch account. And then you should be invited. <coughs> but if someone knows how to do it better, because I obviously don't... I didn't have to do that because I'm not... I didn't sub to my own, my own account. So I'm actually not sure the entire process. <coughs> it should just... It should just pop up. Look at all of these artifact nerds. All right, so we know you still have Mesa Mesa dude in hand, and then you have two other cards. Okay. <coughs> so both of these adepts trigger twice, so I just get the machine gun down your board. Hey, that's pretty good. Josh V, thank you so much, man. Too lazy to sign up for Patreon at the moment, but here's this. Thanks again for the fun content. Dude, I appreciate it. <clears throat> no worries at all. You do you. <clears throat> 
and I will keep uh, repairing the cheek. I'll keep uh, overexerting this scratchy throat we got going on. Uh, I'm just going to play this guy. God, if she just added three red to not cast instants or sorceries, I'd be like, nicely done. Uh, we'll kill this guy, and we'll kill this guy. And I think we'll have enough wizards. What do we got? One, two, three. We got five wizards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Buy yourself a honey tea. Don't you tell me I have to spend my money on. You're not my money, Dad. Not since the incident, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, it should see your connections when you connect. I agree. You shouldn't have to actually, like... So if she was a red guild of Lotus, let you loot three and do that. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> oh, touche, Matthew Ori. Touche. Uh, do I think I'll try drafting on Magic Online Arena next weekend? Maybe. I, I could see it. I don't think it's impossible. I don't care about you. I care less about you, though. I really like Magic Online, and I like drafting on Magic Online. Like, this is a perfect drafting experience for me. I'm drawing all the cards. I'm playing all the cards. I don't have to worry about, like, time. Like, I have 1451. They have 1436. It's very proportional. So, I don't know. Oh, no. Here we go. What are you going to do? Bounce my wizards? You're not going to bounce this guy. You might bounce that guy, but then I can get wizards retort and divination back because of the double triggers. You could probably bounce this guy safely. Or you probably these, these two you probably bounce safely, I guess. I have not done any more testing since since my initial impressions. Um, so here's the thing. The reason is probably the same reason I haven't played games like Gwent or Eternal or whatever. Is because, like, I only have so much time to do things like that. Like, to, to get used to the acquired taste that is MTG Arena, perhaps. And it, my time is just better used. Like, if I'm going to play MTG Arena and try, and try to get used to it or give it a, another chance, it's just better for me to play magic online and draft and stream that like that's just better for me you know <clears throat> and it's not like so like i don't i'm not opposed to it right i'm not opposed to giving it another chance or you know to keep trying it until I, I really like it it's just a matter of like i think you just died four five six seven eight nine we just have to hope you don't have syncopate for one Hold on, I have to do something real quick. <laughs> I'm going to make a new text document. We're going to paste all of the text here. And then we're going to find syncopate. Because I don't remember if we saw it. Cannot find it. Alright, let's go up. Because texting is... We didn't see a syncopate. And they have two cards. Alright. <clears throat> Kflex with the 20 bits. Thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Um... We can just deal three and seven, and then we deal one, two, three, four. And seven. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Gotta live dangerously. Fight fire. <clears throat> Jay Ballard with fight fire. Let's do it. One, two, three. I wish I could see what this was. I guess I'll just do it like that. Don't have it. Oh, they didn't have it. I think that's really good for us. And they actually can't even kill Nabin here because they would have to, if they have Gideon's Reproach, they would have to kill a three power guy or else they die. I think they go to Neg 2. <clears throat> Woo! Got him. All right. That deck didn't do very well in the first round, but every other round seemed great. Uh, that was probably one of the coolest blue-red wizards decks we're going to be able to get. I don't imagine that that coming up again, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on the YouTube page. You'll get notifications when I go live if you hit that bell. And check me out on Patreon if you want to see any new content I'm producing. It's patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And I'll see you next time, guys.